as a player. Like, we're all getting a little bit baited, as we always do, into the performance we saw out of him yesterday. 33 kills on Dust2 to close out that series against NIP. We, we can't just, you know, we so rarely get to see two of those in a row from Shocks. But if they get it, Vitality is going to be a team to be reckoned with. And here we are, live into the pistol run after a short tech delay. And everything, look how far back Vitality is playing. They don't want to mess with any aggression. They don't want to get caught off guard by anything at the moment from Na'Vi. I mean, we do see some really creative pistol rounds on the CT side of Inferno, so I don't really blame them. Boomich sniping away, throwing some bullets. Could have easily been a couple of headshots there, but he's not going to be rewarded just yet. Four people in the A bomb site, and Boomich playing alone with. It. He's got no tools to, to hold him back. If they decided to run him down, then he would have to try and escape and, and just get, you know, fleeting headshots as he starts to, uh, to fall back. I mean, the threat on Navi's side outside of simple is obviously electronic as well. And when both those players are playing well, it just seems like Navi can't actually be stopped. So I look forward to seeing how this is going to be playing out. They're wrapping around towards Arch, and this is going to be B Crunch. Boomage. Oh, and dear. A lot of weight on his shoulders right now. He's going to have to come up big. He needs probably a double kill to make this retake really doable. Otherwise, it's just going to be tricky. They're setting up for one, but he can't get it done. And now Apex is waiting in middle, hearing them as they're stomping. At least Flamey is stomping right on top of him. And there's no reason why Flamey should check this at all. And it doesn't look like he will. So he might be dead. And then it's a 5 on 3 retake. And Apex, yeah, lurking in it, jumping up right behind them. Glock in hand. And that should be a free kill. And it will be. And there's Shocks on the other side. Man, what a round out of vitality this was perfectly set up no one goes down yeah i'm actually surprised that navi didn't try and pounce on that rap strategy obviously they don't know it's going to be a split towards the b bomb site but once once the attack you know diverges into ct spawn you, you that's kind of a fight that you wouldn't mind taking with boomage in that position you could even have him fall back from the b bomb site but having that site split it means there's no way that boomage can delay anything you know, normally when you see one player over at Coffins in a heavy B hit, he tries to go for the one kill, falls back into ruins, and plays it safe for the retake. Yes. When the bomb site's being split, there's nowhere for him to fall back to. So I'm just shocked to see Navi not trying to be a bit more aggressive in supporting that side of the map, especially when you know there's just going to be two players attacking in CT spawn. Nate is out, smokes are out, Deagles and CZs for the Navi side. Yeah, and especially I think the smokes are what's really interesting in this round for Navi. If they can keep them, sometimes you get down to the sub 40 second mark. You've got one or two smokes left, and you can you could get into some real interesting tricks, faking out uh, or forcing really the uh, the T side to run through one of them. So, also means Vitality would would do good to try and keep the pressure on Navi early on here to actually force them to use the smokes as much as possible. I mean, I think they just had given a gift. They didn't yeah. really apply any pressure, and a couple of smokes came out. So that must be nice. That must be real nice. So it's going to be all on the Deagles. You've got Boomich on rap side with the CZ. Simple with a Deagle at the A bomb site. Electronic on the balcony with the CZ of his own. And it looks like all five players of Vitality are going to hit up in this direction. So counter flashes might be the only thing saving Navi in this round and coming towards the rap side. Long range fights for players. Boomich is going to spawn out, fall back into the site, but he won't get away. Not at all. And Simple hasn't been involved. Electronic gets nothing done. I... And Vitality are going to get a second round. I'm going to see a replay of that run boost. I really want to see that. Did he jump on top of the little pallet that's out there and just... I don't even know how that's meant to... Impromptu? I... Improvise? Tony Hawk, a run boost in the middle of a bombsite take? Yeah, I, I really desperately need to see that. That actually kind of blew my mind. Maybe it's not as cool as I'm making it out to be, but um, I do have a history of <laughs> building these things up, but still. Of that? <laughs> oh, that would be that would be cool. Maybe it's designed. Maybe they've, uh, maybe they've practiced it. Two to nothing for Vitality. A very good start here on Inferno. So, is he going to make the jump up? Yeah, so he jumps up here. And he's going to continue on to his team and just run. That's, that is so cool. <laughs> Boomers must just be wondering, how? How are you that quick? All right. That's, uh, that's interesting. Don't know if it's worth, you know, incorporating into a permanent strategy. Probably not going to be that many times where it's actually going to work out that way. But still, it looked cool. And that's important too, you know. Yeah, style points are uh, very underrated in Counter-Strike, I feel. Simple 
with the Deagle again. We'll see if he can do any damage this time. Didn't even have an impact on the previous round. I don't even know if he got a shot off. And plenty of MAC-10 still on board, so Vitality can investigate. You have uh, Vitality for this one as well. Part of your, part of your anti-maniac strategy of, of predictions. Yeah, I've realized since um, since Maniac is essentially fighting reality, and just in my experience, reality usually comes out on top. I thought I would uh, I pick that side too. Worked well in the first game. Okay. It did indeed work well in the first game. That's uh, that's some pretty crazy stuff. Up mid we go. Molotovs are out. Utilities out. Surely Electronic knows he's going to burn, and now he's blind, and now he's Wait. dropped by Misuta. I don't... Did, did Zai Wu burn on his own Molotov because Simple did just enough damage? Yes. That had to have been what happened. Maybe he jumped to his death? Well, yeah, he definitely was tagged by Simple. It did look like Electronic had just accepted his fate at one point in time. It was like, you know what? I'm not even going to put in any effort. I just... Uh, this is happening. Ooh, ooh, nice little run around there for Boomage. And he's pretty good with the Mac 10 That's the bomb on the ground with 20 seconds. This is actually a little bit worrisome. They're going to pick it back up again, but... Apex is a little bit low on health and simple ooh. trucks RPK. And that should be the end of the round. What a comeback here from Na'Vi really early on. Not just getting the round, but also uh, getting those AKs of the Galil. That's huge. Nobody had control of lane of quad. That's a massive victory for Na'Vi. That's a round where they don't even really bring a whole lot into it. And I think even the bong being planted, that's like uh, that's like rule number one of that A bomb site. Did was he actually let's see the replay. Was he actually planting or was he just going to the default plant spot? Because rule number one at that A bomb site is if you don't have control of lane, you don't plant default there. And that's what allowed Boomage to be able to grab that one kill and delay everything. The big the big win of that kill is it actually forces Apex to leave the pit. Yeah. So there's no one to set up a crossfire with the players in sight. So a nice positioning victory from Boomage as well. That's really huge and you know, Vitality that we've had some great games out of them, but that's uh that's giving Navi a round in some sense a little bit too early in this match. Makes you feel uncomfortable. Let's see what Navi do with this gift, though. I mean, as much fun as it is to win a round like that, it can pretty quickly be wiped away if you can't continue to build something behind it. A lot of Molotovs here, keeping Apex feet warm for the minute. Grenade landing on Boomage, and he will he will just fall back. It's no fun anymore. His ears are ringing. That's a nice victory for Vitality. They forced the defense passive just right off the bat. Flamey has one smoke. Boomage has used everything but a flashbang. Simple's going to be the one rotating throughout this game. You can see him at the moment on wrap side, spawn arch side with an AWP. Looking towards middle for the moment. Classic smoke all towards the little pit. That that smoke goes up in just almost every round. They're gonna try and see if they can catapult down down towards the pit. And they haven't checked it yet. Electronic is still back here and he's surprisingly still alive for a big kill. Simple and perfect are helping out. Now the bomb is stuck in there and it's gonna be hard for them to fight their way out yet again. More backup is showing up. Apex getting a kill, but Electronic is just down here the whole time. And that's brought enough for the rest of the Navi squad to show up. Almost a kill there that could have been really dangerous. And Apex, he almost has to go and fight them a little bit here before they can even think about putting the bomb down. He tries to transfer onto the player in the corner that's simple with the AWP, but hasn't found him yet. Now it's going to be a bomb plant, but they're boosting over. Oh, they could almost kill the bomb planter here, but they don't do it. And just like that, it's a 2 on 2 with now finally Apex falling back and Shocks trying to play it safe. If they turn this vitality, it would be so upsetting for Na'Vi. All of this round looked like it was going to go in their favor. They had the three opening kills, but now Shocks is in pit, ready and waiting with the AK, and they are had they have to cross that line. They only have one HE grenade. They're going to dunk it on Shocks to take him down. That's a big start. Apex, a little bit of damage, and he's back for more. Out in the open as well. He should be dead, and he will be. Flamey takes him down, and Na'Vi barely win the round. They have a kit there.
Yeah, that's a good retake, but oh, you're right. It feels like it never should have gotten there. What a great sequence from Apex being so aggressive towards Small Pit. He knows he needed to get that one kill before they could feel some kind of safety. That is a great play. Electronic did everything possible inside Pit. That's what we'll see throughout this half, how good he is at holding on, and his decision-making there is spectacular. And what a grind of a round, and it comes down to utility. A perfect grenade placement onto Shocks, and a nice follow-up onto Apex. Yeah, that was, in some sense, around that at that two on two at the end. If not for the HE grenade, you wonder, you wonder how that plays out. Oh, they don't win it, I don't think, without that grenade. What a, I mean, that makes it so much easier once you take away that pit player. Expensive, nonetheless, for uh, for Navi, obviously, but they could buy everything they want, uh, more or less, in this round. I don't know if Simple has an op somewhere on the ground. AK picked does, up on the electronic. Yeah, on all the right, well, perfect then. Saiwu has his though, so we could get to see some of that uh, that battle that we all were all anticipating. I don't. Simple doesn't peek down mid too often with that AWP, at least wide enough. He is peeking down it at the moment, but he stopped that angle all the way towards ramp, and we know Zaiwu loves that battle, loves getting aggressive in banana and leading the way. This time, a nice easy pick on a perfecto. That's done really bad things that a defense. Simple and electronic on this side. And remember, Simple's going to be close up with the AWP. So even if he gets a kill, if they're close enough, they could try and run him down. If he keeps going, it's so dangerous. Saibu's there on the other side, and here's the impact. Saibu will take him down. He was so ready for it. He knew it made noise, and then almost baits Simple into the fight as the electronic. Yeah, training men right on top of him. And they are going to be saving these guns already. No doubt about that. Well, simple, I mean, excuse me, Zaiwu, that's a, that's a great easy way to win the round with just two kills. The opening pick and the supportive angle that you have as your teammates run up mid, you're looking for that follow-up peak and you get it out of simple. He goes for the delayed swing towards brackets and is shut down. So good movement, good kills from Zaiwu and Vitality have three kills on the board. Zaiwu might be like one of the, f maybe the only player I can think of in my mind whose production with the op doesn't really drop off on the T side of Inferno. No, he's... Like, when we switch side, I, like, Simple, for the most part, still uses the AK-47. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people will will try and just avoid that. And again, there are so many fights where it, where it is sort of like a one-and-done uh, type scenario, but you're, he loves it over at Banana. You're absolutely right, and you could see he feels so confident. He, he's, just, he's just in there in the middle. He's the last guy in, so no one could have refranked this. If Simon went down, Simple could have swung against them or, you know, come back to maybe try and take this kill on Shocks, but... It all works out really well. So now, a little bit of reward for Vitality as they, they win the round. The only downside, I guess, is the fact that Navi got to save some of the guns, so they could still be a bit dangerous. But if they win this next round, it's actually starting to look really good for the French side. And, and this is early on in the, uh, in the half. Yeah, well, I mean, remember, even Navi just got given that gift of the round with the Deagles as well. Ooh, Zaiwu spotted one jumping around the corner. Two M4s on the board. Look at look at Boomich. He might yeah. be able to wrap around. If they can cause any kind of a delay, and Simple is coming back now as well, they need to get someone to take attention and just slow this down. Let this flank come to fruition, because Navi know where Vitality is heading, but they're not able to actually get in position to stop it. And I, I have to imagine Boomich is just going to fall back to the B-bomb site and save the weapon. Decent enough damage from the, from the USP, but there's no reason to get these M4s involved in this round. No, I agree. Excellent shooting from Perfecto. Those were... This is a great double tap with the USP. But yeah, Boomich is sticking around, and that is going to be one of the M4s possibly lost here, unless Electronic can make his way out with it. Looks like he's just going to escape. I would say that's, again, probably not worth it here. Regardless, a fourth round for Vitality. And and again, this is they, they look really focused. This is the kind of Vitality that's actually great fun to watch. Yeah, now we just need to see that out of Navi as well. Yeah, Four to two. A small lead for Vitality. But Navi still, I mean, even even, even with winning that round, they, they've only had the two and obviously put in a weird economic situation right off the bat. So never even given a chance to kind of grow into this game and build any kind of economy up. Here's, here's a weird one, Anders. Five of the six rounds that have been played so far, Navi have survived with two players alive. So, I mean, they're doing what they can to keep some guns moving forward, to recycle some cash and not have to spend everything, but time to start winning. 
Yeah, well, and that kind of st statistic is... It's it's one that sort of you know it could be good in the future of the of the half right like it could be good later on if you if suddenly that saved economy means you win another round and then you can you could keep building on it it's not so good if it's just you know something that keeps on going until the end of it yeah and well here's the here's the bad side of that set as well five of six rounds vitality's been able to get into the bomb site and get a bomb plant so the reason why two players are surviving you know those rounds is because they're not able to stop vitality from taking over the bomb sites and they're not able to really even go uh go too often for the victory they just have to save what they have in those two players a nice stack in middle underneath and on top of porch with simple having the AWP, but we've seen this a number of times. We always mention it. The kryptonite for this is any kind of play out of halls, which Vitality is not heading for. In fact, the bomb is backing up RPK and Apex up banana. So Flamey and Boomich might be put to the test. Actually, Deep Grenade lands on those players over at the quad side, so they take a lot of damage and they're still stuck all the way over there. The rotation time is going to be... Uh, a really long one, if, unless they're coming back. Here's the problem, though. I mean, you, you said it. You can either jump out holes. There are a lot of Molotovs that people can throw to that corner as well that can be really uncomfortable, and there are no more smokes left on the Navi side. So both Electronic and uh, Perfecto in that corner, they could be in a little bit of trouble. Here's the uh, early fake aggression coming out. They're shooting into it. It's Herbie over here on the other side. Electronic, really good double kill. It still leaves Simple inside. 18 seconds. The ball making win. They don't know that he's there, and that's going to be an easy kill. Now 10 seconds. They must go and fight him, but they're so far away. Actually, they can't even make it. That's one kill to win the round just because of the time that's left. Really, really interesting. I think that's actually a very cool strat from Vitality, but because there's a third man in that A bomb site that never rotated out, it completely backfires. Well, actually, it's it's because all three players, uh, like Simple, if he was actually playing where he normally does on wrap side towards arches, he rotates to the B bombs and he has no chance of stopping that play because they actually have the setup of three at quad, three in lane. The fact that Simple starts rotating, he's still at the bomb site when the information from his teammates come across that it's actually a fake and they're coming up mid. So he's able to recover it very quickly. So that defense still kind of, uh, while we didn't see like the exact stack work the way it was supposed to, it still has a good impact in winning the round. Simple gonna go for a late peep, pop flash over, shocks is blind and... Ooh, something scared Simple away. Yeah, didn't want to hang out for uh, for too long in the middle. I mean, it, opping mid on the on the CT side like that, I don't know. You people used to do it similarly as to the way people used to do it on on the CT side of Dust too. But I feel like it's really really dropped off. Yeah, we only really see the peaks from CT side when they know, like, 100% certain that there is going to be an economic advantage and there's going to be no op down mid. All right, five players of Vitality and Banana. This time it won't be a fake. Excuse me, there's four of them. It's Masuta back lurking in alt mid. That's a role we normally used to see shocks in for this team. And man, Taiwoo's got just a straight up opening pick. It's a dry peak. And Boomich, RPK did not get blind by that flashbang. Holy hell, that is a decimating hit towards the B bomb site. Vitality's going to be up at five. And once again, it's so quick, it's so, it's so quick and convincing. And Navi can't go for anything. I mean, that's uh, that's an unreasonable luxury to have going into a B-bomb site, right? One opening, boom, and it's done. You're just, you're in there. I don't know what kind of a setup Boomich would have needed to get, you know, any chance for them to win the round. He's going to have to basically get both the first two kills instantly and then stay alive long enough for, for more people to rotate in. And that's, I don't know how that even would happen. So, um... Yeah, well done. Fifth round on the board for Vitality. Another round over where Navi, this time not even saving two, but three rifles. So, I mean, this is sort of interesting. There was a point in time, remember back in the TSM or early Astralis days, where we would actually credit that team a lot with, you know, on, on the CT sides, being able to save a lot of guns throughout, you know, these halves, and, and, and that would give them, you know, more of a chance to fight. So there is, like, a history of being able to do this well enough, but ultimately... Again, you need to. That needs to become a string of rounds for Navi that they can, you know, pick up like four in a row behind all those guns, and that's not what we're seeing at the moment. No, not quite yet. Uh, I mean, that's that's twice now. Vitality's attacked that B bomb site, or at least initially, and, and Zaiwu's got two opening kills. One in Banana on Perfecto, that one on Flamey. And I think, the, I mean, the solution to that, obviously, is if Zaiwu's going to continuously go for that kind of a peak, a dry peak with the op to try and get a pick, the, the easy solution is to put someone with an AWP there and beat him to the punch. 
Boomich has his trusty SMG and banana at the moment. They had three defenders initially. Now it's just down to Flamey and Boomich again. But up lane we go at quad. A huge amount of vitality players ready to apply some pressure. And they're attacking both bomb sites at the same time. Yeah, RPK did a lot of damage to Boomich and thought maybe that grenade that he threw would have caught him as well. Still more than a minute left, and I mean, all this aggression, look at what it's done to Na'Vi's grenades. <laughs> they pretty much have none left. And the, the, the important thing is the aggression from Vitality hasn't been punished. Nobody's gone down. They've been able to apply that pressure without overextending, without risking themselves too much, so you're exactly right. That is uh, the last smoke that Na'Vi's going to have. That will disappear just around 30 seconds. But back to middle we go, and this is a nightmare. Simple's rotated away. Two players tuckered inside the bomb site. I don't know how they're going to be able to win this. Vitality is just going to swarm this defense. Yeah, one good flashbang, and this is a done round. Nice shot from Electronic. Oh, big double. Can he continue? Perfecto goes down. 20 seconds. Electronic, a triple. One more kill would do it, but Shocks will take him down. Still, what a heroic stand. They're finally going to get the bomb plant here, but look at how low Vitality are. That is such a monstrous defense out of Electronic. Now his team, they have to follow him up. They have to make this worth it or it'll be a really big giveaway. Shock's trying to go a bit aggressive. I think he... Was he spotted there or is that just a random shot? It's really hard to tell. Yes. A single flashbang on spotted. Apex as well. And you're, I think you're right. He might have been spotted. So Apex could be the only one to save them here. Goes for a little bit of a shot. Miss off as well. The Famas doesn't connect and they need to go right here. It's shots to die and long spray from Apex. He tries to pre-fire it and Bowmage comes flying around the corner. They have a kit, so they're going to have the round. But that is so close. If not for Electronic, they do not win this round. Yeah, and maybe if not for Boomich's jumping shot right at the end. What a tense, tense retake for Na'Vi. And man, I cannot believe Electronic delivered the goods here. A triple kill in defense. If Zaiwu hits that shot, it's all over. There's no chance for the retake against that AWP added in as well. What a tough round. You could see how desperate it was when Shox is trying to get aggressive towards Small Pit with low HP. Five to four. But, I mean, still, even in losing these rounds, Vitality with the plant, it's giving them so much extra money, and Navi's still not able to build up any kind of safety net behind them in these victories. There has been seven plants of the nine rounds played so far, and there's another opening kill delivered, this time by RPK with the help of an Apex flashbang. That was, yeah, that flashbang happened as just as Boomich decided in his brain to just start shooting through the smoke. So he was looking straight at it and completely dead. Grenade on Flamey. It's going to be a bit annoying. Nowhere near as annoying as when the follow-up Molotovs start to rain down and he will have to sort of run into the bomb site as they're flanking around the corner. He's going to have a good defensive grenade and actually they just run straight through. They don't even care. Good shot from Flamey. But they're already through in construction and he's alone in the back here. He has to get a double kill and buy time. Otherwise, this retake can't happen. Electronic is still over at the arch. They're not even close to doing this and Flamey runs in. There's one pick. There's the double they needed. But Simple also went down. Nothing could go right for Na'Vi. Even if they have great individual performances here, it's still really tricky. I mean, Flamey with the triple. Is it going to be enough? Electronic showing up, tapping at range and shocks will put him right down six to four and that is all of the money gone for navi in the craziness no one from navi saw apex push through the spawn smokes yeah. and get that position to eliminate simple <coughs> excuse me the only thing they could do in rotating because they had an early rotation over to the b bomb site as soon as boomage went down simple and electronic both rotated to the rap side of the a site so they got there quickly but all they could do is throw those flashbangs Apex with a perfect assassination, and Vitality is off and rolling. Six to four lead on this T side, and they've delivered a knockout punch to the economy. Again, another easy access to the bomb site, another plant, and another round win. I mean, when you're getting rounds like the ones Vitality have been getting throughout this first half so far, where you know, you keep getting bomb plants, you keep putting on the pressure, now we have to save the rifles. When you finally get that breakthrough round like like you've just got. It's set. You've really been set up nicely to go, to go on a bit of a run here. It's crazy that the most they've won is two in a row vitality, and yet they're up six to four. It's not like they've you know just been winning three round, four rounds in a row here to build this. It has been a little bit scattered, but this is their big opportunity to really, really 
crush Navi in this first half. All right, Apex boosted over. Boomich again goes down what? blind. What a transfer up. And Apex has opened the bomb site. Another round, I mean, you can save, but it's not like you have a whole lot to, to, you know, be happy about saving. Still in the next round, it'll be Deagles and P250s. What was that, um, what was that World War II mod that you used to play in, in I guess, both in Source and, and Half-Life? Um, why, why am I blanking on that? DoD? Yeah, DoD. It looked like his... It looked like his his uh, his AK had the recoil from. You remember the machine guns and that? They sort of like would track all up, 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 and just keep going. Um, that's what it looked like. And I mean, I do, but I'm. I feel like I'm a part of a very small subsection of the viewers these days. You think I that's remember a that? Lost reference. All right. <laughs> it's a real shame if you will haven't played. Out. Day of defeat. Uh, uh, DOD was sick. Well, simple. It's gonna get uh lone headshot at the end but that's probably not worth celebrating seven to four right now this is a very strong start for the french side apex is again leading the charge i don't know again how much longer look at this it's just going <laughs> that is actually so ridiculous you actually see the bullets tracking on the wall like they they sort of creep close on the wall that looks really cool yeah they follow up <laughs> man hey cheese three Let's rounds see. back i know Four of them. They should. They're, they're definitely getting kills with them this time. Ooh, they have a chance. That one deep onto shocks. Two more coming in delayed. So staggered nade stack, and it hasn't gotten the kills just yet. Flamey's still holding on to his. He's thinking about it. Yeah, actually, great amount of grenade damage early on. Might just need that third one to make the real difference. Here it comes. It lands a little bit between them. I don't think that's maybe quite enough. The smoke is still going to be pretty good. But um, here's the counter grenade, and that almost took down Boomich. Oh, and the spam as well onto Flamey. So 27 combined HP on the B bombsite defenders. They've had uh, a really rough time in this game so far. Vitality is, is bullying them in a, in a really painful way. Yeah, there are just so many things that are working out well for them. It, it actually feels like Na'Vi are really, really struggling to hold on at all to anything in this first half right now. Here come a lot of utility into the bomb site. Shox is just checking to make sure that they're not getting flanked down the bottom of Banana. 40 seconds on the clock, and yeah, once those grenades go out, I don't know, it's going to be very hard to do anything. They would have to get uh, a magnificent amount of kills, all three of them pretty much defending this bomb site, because Simple and Electronic are so far away that... There's no way they can get here in time, so it's unlikely, but let's give them the benefit of the doubt here. 20 seconds, first round of grenades are through, and they're going to try and see, they're actually just pre-firing the boost as well, that's pretty clever. Boomich, nice Ooh. triple with the USP, that's so impressive, they were low, and the rest of them are too, maybe a chance here. Five seconds, the bomb has gone down, let's see what they could do, electronic and simple, this would be such a huge round to win. They have no kits, so they got to get going relatively quick, but there is low HP. P250 is picked up by Electronic. If they can find shocks, RPK isn't really in a position to recover this, but again, the timer is running down very, very low. It must begin right now. Simple's just turning the corner, and here's Electronic. Shocks is right in front of him, and it's an easy kill. He knows where RPK is, and he's got him as well. And they have plenty of time for the defuse. Off the back of Boomich's triple kill, the damage done by the nade stack, and Navi has miraculously found five. Their second save round they've won in this half. I almost wanted to save for a second there. Shock should have just pulled out the Molotov, like pulled it and ran back onto the bomb and just waited for them to, to try and kill him because that was um, that was looking like... Uh, yeah, I mean, that probably would have made a difference. He did have a Molotov, but I obviously didn't want to make that kind of a play. That, I mean... I'm, I'm more surprised that Shock's turned around at Coffins to look towards Banana. Right, that yeah. he wasn't just keeping his eyes behind him. I guess maybe he thought that RPK would be able to watch that well enough, but that's a that's a lot of faith in a teammate when you're when you're one bullet away from death. If 
if ever there was a round to to get Navi to wake up and get them to start to feel like, you know, they, they actually want a say on what's going on here on Inferno, then that's the round. Triple kill by Boomwich with the oh. USP, and now they're going to be crushed over here. Electronic and Civil, I don't know how you survive this. Simple already slightly flashed, he's going to turn back for it, but they're coming in from either side. Good start from Electronic, they need so much more, or they're still going to get wrapped on. Deep grenade, and Simple's going to go down, Electronic burning. He takes someone with him, that's amazing. What a nice double kill. Man, Simple had nowhere to go. He couldn't drop off, and he was exposed from middle. Now we have a flight coming in from Boomich, and there's two flashbangs on Perfecto and Flamey, and he's going to need them. Boomich coming in through halls. Two players in sight, one in pit. It's Apex that's going to be the tough one for Boomich to find. Another Molotov for lane. AK's picked up, and here's the pop flash from Perfecto. It better be perfect. Boomich doesn't swing with it. He's looking for Graveyard, but no one presenting themselves. This retake has to start right now. I think they're really hoping that someone is in Graveyard, and we could tell that's not happening, so they've thrown all these grenades, and there's been no effect. Apex and Saibu, and then Apex with the follow-up yet again. A triple here for the Captain of Vitality, and he's up to 13 and 5. Apex is... I mean, it's been incredible to watch him play at this level for such a long time now. I'm, I'm just really enjoying it. No, but again, this is another half, not only his individual level, but calling as the in-game leader. Yeah. This is another half that is just being so well put together. They have been abusing the beat bomb site, and in response, Navi placed three players at B to start. This is a timing hit in halls. There's only two defenders. They're both in lane. Nobody's in pit. And make no mistake about it, Vitality has had an access to any bomb site they want at any point during this game. And now Simple with the AWP, a force buy out of Navi. And he's on the wrong side of the map again. Perfecto is, well, he can hear the army coming, so he's just gonna turn around and down in the pit. Electronic, he's gonna be called upon to do much more than that yet again. Perfecto, CC, big kill if he could get it. He's gonna be reloading in the corner and he won't have the time to do it, but Electronic is still down here. I, I mean, he's doing such a good job, Electronic, throughout these rounds. He just needs a couple of people to join him, and it could get real interesting. You're up to 11 kills right now. One more would probably do it. Boomage is going to find RPK, and now it's a 2 one four. This is, a, again, a very unlikely round for Na'Vi to pick up, but it looks like they will, although Apex and Shocks are fighting their way back in, and oh. a headshot taking down Boomage. What a turnaround, the 2 on 4 and right back into their favor. Simple missing a chance, and he's been tagged up on fire, and Apex will take him down. What a victory. Back-to-back -back triple kills for Apex. This is amazing. Yeah, they are playing such a good game. 16 and 5 for Apex. This shot right here is a thing of beauty. And that's the shocks that Vitality need. You're not always going to get the 33 kill performance that we saw yesterday, but the clutch factor of this man has always been there. 9 to 5 lead. And that is a round where Navi had an incredible advantage. Electronic played it just as perfect as you possibly could. Alive in pit, yes. keeping that position clear for the retake. Boomwich was able to wrap through halls and join him over on the pit side, and it just didn't matter. Oh, they know. I think they know. He's going to put out the Molotov at least, but it doesn't even matter. Grenades on top, and now we, they couldn't even invest into this final round. I mean, we've got nothing to work with. In any, other, in any other game, the kind of performance that Electronic has been putting up here will net Navi so many more rounds, but... They just don't have the weapons, and they, they keep keeps being electronic, and one guy with a pistol somewhere, it's, it's not enough. I actually think it's amazing that electronic has 11 kills, given where we are right now. Think, think, of, think of where this game could be, right? Because Vitality has just destroyed Na'Vi. The, like, two of the rounds that Na'Vi have, have been, have been save rounds. Yeah. One was that triple kill from Boomich with the USP. They cleaned up off a nade stack. If it's not for those two rounds, Navi has no business even being in this server. Yeah. They do have that all access pass to Inferno. They don't have to pay to get into any bomb sites. It's worked out real well for them. It's a good investment. Two <laughs> shocks. Spotting Perfecto's leg and taking him down. What a. Powerful first half we've seen here from the French side. About to be 10-5 at the end of the half. A little bit of a flash and a grenade, and there we go. Constantly losing players and have to scramble to try and get back into the bomb site. So for Navi on offense, they've got a huge job to do. They have to rattle off 11 rounds. They have to grind out 11 if they want to take this in regulation. It's going to start here with the pistol round. 
You have utility on Boomich and Electronic. No upgraded P250. Sorry, Anders. It's Apex with armor and a CZ on the CT side. For shame. Actually, on Inferno might be one of the maps where you where actually I could I could be okay with not having the P250 because you're probably going to get close with the Glock anyway. Get over it. Yeah. yeah, or have to jump around a corner at, at, at a weird angle. Yeah. Oh, Sharks. He's going to go on a mission here. Flamey is around the corner. So this is either genius or very dangerous. I think, yeah, his gun must have been spotted. Nice kill for Flamey. He definitely saw that. The tip of the USP. Now, three people in the B-bomb site. So let's see if Navi are about to make a big mistake. I think they are. Bomb's been here pretty much the whole time. And you can see how far back the two players in oh, ultimate are. Side was going to blow up, though. They don't want to progress at all. Ooh, double nade! What a great pistol. You're exactly right. Good call. Two nades land on Zaiwu. Now Masuta's still boosted. There's some danger still in this pistol round if he can land the shots, but they now know where he is. RPK's alone and in the open. And that's it. Navi gonna get the plant. It'll be a pistol round for the T side. Do you want to know something interesting, though? I'll tell you this I would while, love to. while we wait. You could tell next time we go and check out uh, Apex webcam. Notice how he's actually got like a slain lion that he's wrapped around a chair or something. That I, I it looks like the North logo. Yeah, I think he's sending some sort of message in the background there, he's saying, you know, I mean, not that I know what North are doing these days anyway, but I like it. <laughs> Psychological <laughs> warfare. I really, I really enjoy just the entire, the entire feng shui of what Apex has going on and, and wherever he's playing. It, it, I feel, I just imagine him in like some mountain villa somewhere in France playing these games from isolation. He's got like a, a baguette oven right behind him. He's, you know, as soon as he gets done with his games, he cooks up a fresh loaf of a baguette. I imagine that... Probably the sun is shining outside. He's got a pool out there. He's probably look at that. Look at the background. That's the North logo. Look at it. it has to be. Bro, yeah, everything he's got going on there, I'm I'm into. Yeah. Do you think there are just like people sunbathing outside? He's got like a, in in the in the you know in the break between maps, he's just out there partying a little bit. And then comes back in, sits down, does his business, and yeah, I imagine. I, think, I feel yeah, like Apex is winning at last. Probably. French cheese. He's probably got some winemakers back there as well. Like there's, there's all those people, you know, hiking up their dresses, stomping grapes to make the wine later on. It's probably a beautiful oh, image. From scratch, yeah. Um, yeah. Similarly to the way that Vitality are stomping Navi. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'll be out. In, I'll be out in like half an hour. Just uh, you know, give me some time. I just need to beat up these this team really quick. I'll join the party in a moment. Now let's see if we've oversold this. Maybe Vitality CT side is dreadful, and now we just you know run it right back. We we don't know yet. We've we've seen that plenty, and obviously the way to do it is the exact way that Vitality have such a big lead after their T side is economic control on Inferno is the name of the game, and if Vita or if Navi can keep coming back every time Vitality win, you keep resetting them, changing up where you're going to attack, they're going to have an opportunity to just run up the scoreline. The problem is this is a map that I feel again another another feeling that's not backed by statistics in any way that. This is another one of those maps where I feel like Navi generally have one to two rounds where they have that heartbreaking lose track of time moment. Well, they've been smoked off with the bomb out here. 25 seconds. Good kill down into the pit. So now it's just RPK and shocks for the next 20 seconds. We'll try and hold on to the site here. They're being really slow about it, Navi. That's one good kill and nearly a follow up. The bomb in the corner, and I don't think there's anyone that could stop it. Apex and Cy were already backing out, so. Looks scary, but all is fine. Listen, if if I'm simple, though, I'm biting my tongue at the moment because I'm saying, why am I the one who has to initiate the attack into this bomb site on the second round when I've got two teammates with MAC-10s playing patty cake in the corner? Like, let's get it together, Boomich, and I believe Flamey. Like, get into the bomb site. You have the MAC-10s. That's the entire job of the MAC-10 in this situation. Yeah, I could imagine. I, I, I know what you mean. I'd be a little bit upset, too. Maybe we could get some listening and some translation you obviously, going on. <laughs> yeah, you obviously have to hold back because you don't want to, you know, you know, tilt the whole team. You don't want to start yelling in round number two. But at the same time, it's just, you know, 20 seconds on the clock and, you're, and your MAC-10s aren't making the move that you need them to. Yeah, definitely uh, slightly annoying. Maybe that's what he's saying just there. 10 to 7, though, is the scoreline, and it's not quite interesting yet. We still need to see 
Vitality with rifles in this second half, which hasn't really been possible yet. So, I'm, I'm this is curious. I didn't even look at the scoreboard, but Perfecto has three kills. Misuta has three kills. So that's that's Ooh. not a lot for those two players in the first half. No. I mean, Perfecto was probably the player getting shuffled between A and B on defense. Good, just I mean. Between him and Simple, every time they cheated over towards the B bomb site, they either got absolutely wrecked, or they were just on the wrong side of the map. Good nade damage onto Boomich, brought down to 37. Yeah, now that you want to spend what's left of this round, probably figuring out if there is a stack and how to avoid it. Sai was sitting inside of the smoke that was put up there from the Navi side. He has a flashbang, so. They pretty much got one shot at landing that flashbang perfectly when Navi turned the corner. Not that many Molotovs on the Navi side, so I mean, it could actually get a bit int interesting here. It's still obviously heavily favoring the Navi side, but it's not impossible that this could be, uh, you know, a real, uh, a real upsetting round. There's the early flashbang. Audi tries to tap away. He went a bit early, I thought. Still a bunch of people in the back lineup here, and it's going to be shocks and RPK with two big shots coming out. 30 seconds on the clock. Rotation is coming from Apex. He's just running to try and shoot them in the back, and they're really waiting now, V, and they don't have that time. Now, finally, they're going to break through. But that is so dangerous. That could have absolutely backfired on them. They'll pick up the round, and I think that's really all that matters, but I'm so worried for Navi in some of these rounds. Yeah, it's, it, it is a bit scary that these second and third rounds have both gotten down to, what, 20 seconds on the clock before they're really making progress into the site. You can imagine how much Vitality is going to be able to delay once they have all the nades and all the utility and the rifles. If Navi is not going to be attacking aggressively against pistols, the M4 and this AWP on shocks could be an issue. Eight to ten. Yeah, I think this is where it, it's really going to get interesting because the the pace and the confidence for Vitality on the T side was just completely unmatched by anything that was happening on the Navi side. But it's been a little minute. I mean, we had the the break between the halves, and obviously uh, three rounds to start off Navi with here. Maybe that's enough to get the engine up and going, and maybe they could. They could find some of that confidence themselves. Boomish again is going to get grenaded on Banana down to 40 health. That, that's annoying, but it's kind of par for the course when you're when you're that Banana lead. That tends to happen a lot. That's a lot of grenades used by Navi, and what if they actually got out of them? Why have they only got two smokes and two flashbangs left? Yeah, it's, I don't have a great answer for you. I was looking at the same thing. And they're already committed to this B-bomb site, and the clock is going to get run down. That smoke goes up. It'll fade right around 29, 30 seconds. Navi Sideways, taking a, little a little bit smoke. more damage. He's got more. Yeah, they're in trouble here. Another smoke comes out. Flashbangs as well. They're going to have to go through this on the reload. That, this is their best opportunity. Apex blinded, transfers over. Zyru must be traded, and he is. Flamey's got him. And now they can set up, but no nades to slow down the retake. Simple's up. In position, in ruins. Ooh, simple getting RPK. Did he ever throw the Molotov this side? Well, they're gonna back out of the round. I, they're not gonna get many more chances to defend the B bomb side that effectively. That's actually kind of upsetting for Vitality. Yeah, well, he didn't he didn't throw the Molotov because he was spamming through the smoke and then got caught in the reload and then he just had to fight for his life. It was too late for the Molotov. So a bit of a miscue on the defense, and that's exactly what Navi needed. It's going to be 9 to 10 as they close the gap in the second half. I think that first Molotov, the first smoke there runs out at around 35 seconds or something. Then right, then he puts down another one. So I, I don't actually... That's... Yeah, that's real strange. They... They probably should have won that round. Like, if you could replay that particular round again with the, you know, with the same position just from there on out, I just think Vitality probably win it almost every other time. Like nine times out of ten, that's the round they pick up. Not the best start for the first rifle round. No, a little bit of a, you're, you're right, a little change in the utility there, and, and Vitality might have been able to put a stop to that. Tenth game, 17 kills on Shocks, 18 on Apex, 12 on Zywoo. 
15 on Electronic, 11 on Flamey. Simple and Boomich both at 9. This is so interesting now, because with the rounds that have passed, and again, the break between the halves, all that momentum and and strength that we saw, it's, you know, it's, it's a little bit of a memory now. It's a little bit further away in everyone's mind. And when you don't get that first rifle round, things do get interesting. Now, we do have a lot of HEs picked up here on the Vitality side, something that Navi couldn't make work, but it can work. In the odd round, shocks opening down middle. Oh, he does not see that. I can't believe it. <laughs> that is pretty crazy. Listen, the desk talked about this game. A lot of it is going to depend on the supporting cast outside of Simple and Electronic, outside of Shocks and Zaiwu. At the moment, the supporting cast of Navi, 26 kills. For Vitality, it's 29 kills. Just a three round split between those other three players on each side. So I still only pretty close and reflected in a one round lead. Aggressive retake of top banana, but they don't actually catch anyone with the grenades. They really wanted to, to find someone out there they could isolate and kill, and it doesn't work out. Look at the Tronic, though. He, he's been doing this the whole way through. He's just infiltrated the enemy lineup, and they... Oh, he actually looks the wrong way. What a steal. That should have been the round-winning move, and now instead he gets caught, and inside of the bomb site, RPK a little bit close. Shocks not able to get the first shot in, and Cyber will go down as well. It's just a matter of finding Shocks now, oh. and they have time for it. 40 seconds, he can't get that follow-up, and Flamey will make sure that this does not get out of control for Na'Vi. I mean, I, I feel like Electronic got robbed. <laughs> well, I'm amazed he didn't hear Zaiwu running. I'm amazed he never heard a footstep. Maybe there was some communication. Maybe he was trying to talk. But either way, Zaiwu spotted him out and waited for him to turn that corner. So, 10 to 10. And it has been five rounds straight for Navi. They're on fire after this round victory. Vitality have yet to put a round on the board on their defensive side. Masuta still with just the three kills in this map. Yeah, just the three kills and saving the uh, the gun out here as well. Man, this is I, this looking like a great comeback for Navi. It's ten to ten, they've tied up the scoreline. They're starting to uh, to get a bit of production on board. There are actually people trying to help out Electronic, which must be feel good to him. <laughs> yeah, it must be a new experience. Yeah, he's loving it. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, yeah, they're they're doing it. and it's simple. I mean, the, I guess the saving grace for Navi as well when you think about it is. We haven't really had to say Simple's name a whole lot, and they're tied up 10 to 10. You're not talking about him finding opening picks with the AWP. You're not talking about his heroic sequences, his multi-kills. So, still without their all-star player, delivering a good map. Perfecto with an opening kill to Apex, and moves forward of the nade, but he's got Zaiwu over at Sandbags. Nade, Molotov combination, Zaiwu staying alive just barely. A lot of utility being sent out by Vitality to keep him protected, to allow him to retreat. Yeah, Perfecto, another one of those players that's had a bit of a rough game, but being able to find just one kill in one round like this, maybe especially an entry on Banana was huge. You know, I think Vitality made a call just now. They said, if they come B, save the rifles. If they come A, maybe we win. And it looks like they're going to be saving the rifles at the moment. So I don't really mind this. I mean, it, you know, from a, I guess from a, of an action point of view, it's going to be a little bit of a letdown, but I think tactically it makes sense. Oh, especially, yeah, it makes 100% sense. Especially considering how much, as, as I just mentioned, the amount of nades they had to use to get Zaiwu away safely. The fact that Masuta has 5k, so he can drop any weapon that Apex wants over to him. They'll have a full buy in the next round. I think this is a great call for Vitality, even if it is painful. Now, here's an interesting tidbit and and this is going to have some uh some echoes throughout counter-strike history is on this ct side shocks has been the opera not sai Wu. yeah uh which is i mean i guess it's not a, it's not a dreadful thing maybe sai Wu's just made a cause i actually don't just don't like doing it on this round uh or on this particular half but yeah it's definitely a bit of a change up and they could obviously go double up but that carries some risk on inferno too when you're on the ct side well yeah, I was thinking about the same thing, because Masuta, with 8300, can drop an AWP over to Zaiwu. Zaiwu can pass off his M4 if need be. They have a lot of different options here for Vitality. 
but I don't know. It's 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 a little bit scary that they're not able to find the solution quite yet. I'm I'm almost kind of shocked we're not seeing a timeout out of Vitality. Maybe we'll get one at the end of freeze time. But uh, six rounds straight to start this second half for Navi, and they've taken they've taken the lead. It's their first lead of the game. Yes, it is. Good grit and determination on Navi. That first half must have been real painful. And yet they just kept their heads down and kept fighting and it's paid off right now. That's in itself, I think, kind of impressive. And it's it's a feature of Navi that we've seen fail them in the past where, you know, things do tend to spiral out of control and you end up having yelling on team speak and all the rest of it. And, if, you know, they don't seem to be able to recover some of those losses, but not so uh, right now, which I think is, is really positive news. Well, and also, I mean, if they were on the verge of maybe breaking after the first half, obviously the start they have in the second half, you know, drives them further away from the edge. So only positives for Navi to be thinking about at the moment. Oh, Creeping up towards the end of holes. There's a flashbang. This could be brutal. Yeah, it already is, Misuta. They don't check the corner. He's gonna get two kills for free. A third man comes jumping down. It's still a three on three. That is very hard for Vitality to win this retake. Shox has posted up, but that was actually the perfect time to make that call that they just did, Navi. Deep grenade, won't kill anyone. It's not even gonna touch anyone, it seems. And there's Apex going down. And now they're at the risk of losing all of their rifles here. Vitality, I... I mean, it's even shocking that Masuto got those two kills. This could have been over 20 seconds ago. Listen, perhaps the biggest difference between these two halves, because both teams have had incredible success in their entries and getting into bomb sites. This is going to be six of seven rounds played in the second half that Navi have planted the bomb. The difference is in the first half, Navi was able to have two pretty stellar, two to three pretty stellar retakes. Yeah. Vitality haven't even gone for one or haven't even had the ability to go for one. In fact, I mean if you if you look at if you look at the scoreboard with how many players of Vitality have survived in some of these losses, the past four rounds, two people survive in a bomb plant loss this round. Last round was four people surviving on a save. The round before that was one person decided to not go for it. The round before that was two to not go for it. So, I mean, Vitality's making the conscious decision to preserve their economy instead of going for the retake. And I think it's been smart. It's probably been the right call up to this point. But now when you're down two rounds and you haven't mounted any kind of a defense or mounted any kind of a retake, it's time to start going for retakes. Yeah, we just, I mean, we're not seeing the same kind of assertive, explosive... Vitality, and I guess that, I mean, that is partly due to them playing this AT side. It's really hard to do. How do you, you know, you could maybe try and do it at Banana. There are other ways to do it, obviously. I mean, we've seen people go for fights all the way down, even into second mid, but that, that is a little bit of a gimmick play, and it can obviously backfire. So, otherwise, they're left waiting for well, a long time. We need to see if, if Vitality's, they just switch into a double op setup, and I think they need to be a little bit aggressive with these ops. I think we need to be seeing Zaiwu start to peak and start to try and influence things early on, because if you're having troubles retaking, the double op setup in Inferno is not the answer. It's going to make retakes even harder to go for, because it's a much bigger investment of economy. It's a much bigger risk and harder to clear things out. So they better win some of the early battles with these AWPs. Well, look at this setup here. There's two people up in apartments. Misuta down on the quad side. Trying to see if they could maybe flash their way in. Not going to be peeking quite yet, but a lot of this is on Misuta. I mean, he has to stay alive at the very least for a kill. Timing. Oh, it's directly against him. An RPK. Not going to try and swing for it. And they've fallen back. They're ready. Simple. I can't believe he missed that shot. That looked like it was a free one. And now, Electronic, he wanted the revenge, but it's not going to be possible. Does Saibu want to join them over on this side, or is it going to be up to RBK and Shox to deal with this? And Simple never expected that player to peek from the close angle. I'm amazed that Navi is not going for this at this point with that one pick at the bomb site. Look at the utility. One smoke, Molotov, and flashbang each. They need to make this work, and this flashbang better bother Shox. It better hit Pit, because this is going to be a difficult setup. And last time, they didn't clear out Masuta in RPK's position. You have to imagine they're going to they're gonna clear it out this time. Only thing is, Shox has the AWP, so that actually it could be hard for Shox to do much. If he misses a shot, then RPK could be going down while he's trying to get the next shot in. 
Oh, there are a lot of questions in this one. 20 seconds, and we're going to find the answers right now. Here comes the run-in. Initial grenade doesn't do that much, and the Molotov on top of Shocks, and the kill on Flamey there, or from Flamey, taking down RPK, and that's the round. They're going to go for the bomb plant here, and no one can interrupt them. They, I mean, now everything is working for Navi. That's going to be 13 rounds. Wow. I would, I'd actually love to see that from Shock's point of view in, in exactly, you know, what he's able to do in that position. I don't think the flashbang is what did it, but maybe the Molotov is what made it just impossible for him to, to do much of anything. Yeah, the flashbang might have been distracting, but and it might have held him back from peeking, because normally that flashbang means someone's going to be holding the angle, and he obviously wants to peek to help RPK, but then the Molotov on top of it is just makes it everything real uncomfortable. Oh, dear. This is, uh, this is turning into a bit of a nightmare for Vitality. 13 it's, to 10. It's got real awkward. They got 10 rounds in the first half, and anyone quick with the math could figure out they've got zero in the second. That's, that's the other part. Flamey's jumping off the balcony, and so when Shock swings, he probably sees Flamey first and goes to target at him instead of pre-aiming, you know, towards the holes where you know that player is holding your peak. Yeah. That's a, that's a really rough sequence to deal with if you're Shocks with the off. They've gone back to a double AWP setup. This time Zaiwu does look like he wants to flex. Here comes the peak, but it's simple on the other side and he's got it. Oh, back in, giving it back to Shocks. <laughs> oh man. There's a bit of a fight, but Apex is down, and that's the B-bomb side lost, and Boomich knows it. He's immediately going to react to that. Smart play from him. He actually picked up another smoke. They he have to go down for this, Sanders. Well, yeah, and if, they, if, if Vitality doesn't go for this, I know it's tough to swallow. I know it's not going to be easy, but come on. You cannot let this game drift away by just saving your weapons over and over again. This is, this is the winner's final. You got to risk something at some point, and you haven't done it yet. Flamey knows no one is coming from this side, so he could either flank them or try and fall back to Banana. It's a little bit up to him. They are setting up like they want to try and go for it. Again, that could cost them everything, but you might be right. Otherwise, they're just going to end up losing the game rich, and that's not really that good after all. Going to be a kill on RPK, and now the retake is doomed. Electronic will take down Masutra, and Shark's saving the orb as much as he can, but they're surely going to be coming for him. 14 to 10. What an incredible comeback this is for Na'Vi. I'm so impressed. Yeah, I am as well. This is this is awesome. Sh simple, ready for that peak from Saiwu. I mean, and, and the the tough part is, I don't even necessarily think like the the peak from Zaiwu I don't think is wrong. Retaking, I obviously didn't think that was wrong. But they've waited so late in the game to do things like that that at this point it's their only option. It's like the last thing they haven't tried. So Navi's going to be ready for it now. And the real issue is because they've held off on so many retakes. There's four players in Navi that have like ten thousand dollars plus. You're never grinding this economy out of the hands of Navi, especially if you haven't stopped them from getting into the bomb site. It's been... I don't know, it's been... Depressing. Like 10 plants in this half. Oh, yeah. RPK will go down, Shock's on the corner, sees it, misses the chance, and that cannot happen. He's gonna get crushed and wrapped on Misuta. Well, Shock's gonna be shot at the back, but Misuta's now alone on the bomb side, and there's nothing he can do. My god, this is, this is absolutely done. I don't know what happened to Vitality in the break between the first and the second half, but... But it wasn't good. Yeah, this is a complete capitulation. Navi has just hit the critical mass where everything they do is the right the right decision. Everything they do, they have so much confidence in the fights they're taking that Vitality just can't contain it. This and Zaiwu knows he's being hunted as well. He's got to move forward while he tries to save this up. And there's there's no money behind any of the Vitality players, so this is all they have. Yeah, wow. Not anymore. Not anymore. 15 to 10. I really feel like, I mean, there is obviously, there is that big difference in momentum and, and who has the initiative when you're playing CT and T side. And I think Vitality probably just came into the second half thinking that was such a great job. All we need is for our default setup to work more or less and we'll probably grind out the next six rounds and things will be all right. Uh, and then, it, it, I mean, they were, they've been playing very passively, been making the calls to save for all along and it, it just feels like Navi, on the other hand, said, okay, it's our turn to really, to make the calls and di dictate the pace of this game. And Vitality haven't been able to stop them at all, so this is... Uh, I Anders, mean, go on. 
crazy comeback. You want me to blow your mind real quick? Go on, I'm ready. Navi has not lost more than two players in a single round in this half. Wow, I wasn't Vitality ready for that. has never killed three players in one round. That's gotta be some kind of record. Yeah, that actually very well could be. If you were uh, on the Navi side, on the, one of the Navi fan cams in that first half, you might have been real quiet, but you, you probably can't believe what you're watching here. I almost can't believe it. This is just very, very cool. Down the middle, Shock's gonna get at the one kill there, but in the B-bomb side, alone is Apex with a FAMAS and zero grenades. Now, there is a bit of a flank coming in. Now we have a timer on this where they need to go or they're gonna get shot in the back. 45 seconds. They're sort of looking for it and they realize, yeah, no one's been checking it. Now, Boomage is so exposed in this position. 40 seconds and they're gonna start to move their way in. Apex hiding in the back and waiting for some backup. Misuta coming through construction. There's the peak. I mean, it's heads up play for Boomage. They know what's coming. They know they're boxed in and now they're trying to fight their way out. Electronic getting the kill oh on Apex God. and that might be it. 24 seconds here and fighting the way back and look at Electronic. He's running with Boomage with the bomb all the way to the A side. It's not even needed. 16 